the tutorials, guitar tutorials. That piece of music I just played you was called Horizons and written by Steve Hackett, who was the former lead guitarist of Genesis, going back a few years now. Now to me, Steve Hackett was one of the, the pioneers of rock guitar in his day. He sort of came up with all that kind of jiggery pokery on the on the guitar. Fine lead player. And he came up with that beautiful two minute piece of acoustic guitar called Horizons. Now Genesis to me were one of the great rock bands in the 70s. They put theatre with rock and they kind of transported you to a kind of Alice in Wonderland in your head. And I remember when I was an acne faced kid going to see Genesis for the first time when I was 14 years old and seeing that old Pete Gabriel coming out of the orchestra pit with some bat swings and a luminous eyes singing Watcher of the Skies. I was taken by them and followed them and saw the live shows whenever I could and bought all their albums. But the one tune that I really did love was that piece Horizons which opens for Supper's Ready off the Foxtrot album. Worth checking out if you can kids. Now I've picked this piece not only because of its beauty and its content but because we can cover harmonics. And Steve Hackett in this piece is using natural harmonics and he plays the melody using natural harmonics. two types of harmonics. And I'll put a little chart up for you. I'm sorry it's a bit skew with too many sherries when I wrote the, uh, the harmonics and the score out and the tabulation for you. A natural harmonic you've got on your fifth fret. Actually I should be playing closer to the bridge. sets the scene and with horizons there could be church bells, people, off to church. We'll get into that a little later. So natural harmonics. And the other type of harmonics is called, I believe, Harmonicus Octavados, which sounds more like one of Caesar's wives than octave or harmonic, octave harmonics. Call them forced harmonics. I suppose if you said forced harmonics at the Juilliard School of Music, you'd get a clip round the ear. But we're going to call them forced harmonics. You don't use them very often, but they're worth a practice. And you depress the note you wish to play, you come up and you play the note. That's an F. Or a G. Play a G. And you've got to take your finger, your first finger, and your ring finger. You can play your natural harmonics using it. But if you're doing a piece like this, and if you want to practice and practice and practice, I find thumb, index and middle. So we've got thumb, thumb, index, middle, thumb, thumb, index, middle. And then three strokes. Harmonic 
in notation form is represented by a little diamond. But when I wrote all this out, I couldn't find the symbol, so I've had to put them up an octave and on your tab chart give you the position on each fret. So harmonics consist from the seventh, sorry, from the fifth, the seventh, and the twelfth. And you could do a complete melodic run using your forced harmonics. If you so desire. finger pick picking pattern. I've got some charts I can put up for you, exercises for your right hand picking using your index, middle and ring finger and your thumb, pulled you, I think it's P for thumb, pulled you. is on your tabulation. Your notation won't give you the, the picking pattern but the tabulation will. It tells you what fret, an open string, closed string and it's worth going through it. Now this is a G suspended too because of the A. I put the chord up for suspended too. A lot of people might say that's not a G suspended too, it's a G. It contains an A natural. So I've called it a G suspended too and given you the double. Thank you. 
the notation that goes through in eighths. When he's playing it live, I think he rests it. He doesn't rush through it. pizza. Holding the E note. 
minors, the seventh fret, and he's holding the G note with this very important little ombre here, the little finger on the eighth, and he's plucking an open G. E on the fifth fret, and this little pull off. It's quite tough, a lot of practice on that pull-off. You have to think about it. With the open D. Let's try that again. First inversion. A sharp, F, G, A. Your third in your degree is now playing your A sharp. C sharp, F, G, A, B, C. It's gone into third position. G, F sharp is gone into fifth position. Sorry, to pluck the C sharp, and he's using the thumb to pluck the open G, and the ring finger to pluck the G. Harmonics, we're back to the harmonics on the D. Mm -hmm. 
rest on the A minor. And he's setting this back up. section here takes a bit of work. starving in the street and you put your hat down you play that you'd make a few shillings go and get yourself a McDonald's so it's worth the effort now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some charts up for you fingering freestyle arpeggios different exercises they call them the Segovia exercises they're worth looking at and worth doing improving you yeah. I should look at them a bit more, <laughs> obviously. Now these lessons I'm giving you are for totally for free. I believe in passing knowledge on to people without charging. And I'm enjoying doing it and it's reinforcing my musical skills and my own discipline to put over to you, which I've lacked over the years, being a bit lazy working in rock bands and so on and so forth. You get lazy just, you know. So I decided to do this to see if I can help people out in the world. I hope you're enjoying the lessons. As I say, I'm not going to charge you for these because I think that these politicians, especially here, this parliament, are charging you far too much and taking the skin of your bones, chipping away at all of us. There's an old saying in England, the only person that ever went to Parliament with good intentions was Guy Fawkes. And they burn his ass every November the 5th. So spread the news. People are interested in learning. I hope you can come onto the web, or not the web, onto YouTube and look at these lessons. And I'm going to be uploading some Renaissance on the next one, which is a lovely little piece. Take a bit of work, but it's worth the effort. <coughs> so you kids, spread the news, take it easy, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>